Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to uh, do a few little thrift flips, and I'm starting with this um, with this wall pocket. And it's hard to tell here, uh, but this wall pocket has so much texture on it. It actually has too much. And uh, to make it worse, it's shiny, and so... It just makes that texture stand out even more. So I'm hoping by painting it the colored drop cloth uh, that it will it will take away from some of that texture. And then, of course, that shininess will be gone. And I'm going to be decoupaging just on the, the outside of this wall pocket. And I'm using just gift tissue wrap. And I think I bought this gift tissue wrap at the Dollar Tree. And, um, so I'm just, I just put, um, a coat of the Mod Podge on there, and then I'm just kind of forming this to the star. It wasn't really easy, but, uh, just making a few slices down in the, uh, in the creases, uh, it, it wasn't too bad to decoupage. Then I just let that dry, and, uh, and then trimmed off the excess and took a little bit of sandpaper and just neatened up the edges. And now all I'm doing is just adding some greenery into this. I, I didn't want to do uh, actual color other than this white uh, because I didn't want to uh, clash with that blue plaid. Now this item is a little interesting. It's, it's a clock. It's not an old clock, and it it uh, it said it was tested and didn't work. Uh, but I was able to buy it for very little, and uh, now I'm going to take I'm going to turn this into a photo frame. And I know that's odd, but I'm going to use the little um, the little frame on the bottom. And use it for a picture, and then uh, and then I'll add some embellishment to the top. Uh, I have a little area in my store that um, that my mother used to leave um, herself notes on, and she would write down her hours and 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 what she owed for, and uh, and so I didn't want to move that little note card, and decided that that would be her little area. Uh, Mom started the store with me when we first opened, and she'll always be a part of the store, so I just thought she needed her own little shelf. So I'm going to redo this and put her picture here in the bottom and then add some embellishment to the top, and this will go on her shelf. Uh, now, I've mixed this color green uh, because I couldn't find the green that I wanted, and on that particular wall, um, I have an old cabinet door that I've had for years with a chalkboard on it, and um, it, the color that that I have on that is similar to this. So I just mixed this as close as I could to that. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be the undercoat uh, because I'm going to be uh, going over this with the color drop cloth and a tr with a crackle medium. So, uh, you're just going to see just hints of this in the cracks. But I still felt like it needed, you know, to be a similar to co color to what I have on my, um, on my chalkboard. So, I just give this one coat of this. And, uh, like I said, I can't tell you what color this is because I just mixed it until I got it right. And uh, I let that dry well. And then I'm going to try an, a product that I hadn't tried before, but because I'm selling these Dixie Bell products, um, I'm going to use it. Now, you don't have to use this because I have used um, just Elmer's glue. And if you paint uh, just a thin coat of Elmer's glue on, uh, on your dried paint that you're using as your base coat, and you just let that dry... And paint over the top of that it it will crackle also but I do have to say that this crackle medium from D Dixie Bell did an even better job because it's um it has a neater uh, crackle finish so with the Elmer's glue it, it's a little bit more sporadic with the crackles which I still like 
uh, but this really worked well. So you just put one coat of this on and you let it dry completely and it'll still be shiny, uh, but you let it dry and then you go over it with one generous coat of your top coat. And, and here I'm using the, the color drop cloth and I'm not sponsored by anyone, but um, I'm just doing a generous coat of this. The directions say to uh, do a good even coat uh, but you don't want to paint over the top of that again because you'll mess your crackle up. So just put enough on your paintbrush uh, that it um, that it covers well, and uh, and then you just leave it alone. And it before long it will start to crackle. And uh, I was really happy with uh, how this product works. Like I said, if you don't have this, just use Elmer's glue. That that works really well. Uh, Elmer's glue is something that every crafter should have because uh, it works for this. It works for um, for uh, Mod Podge. You can mix it half mod. I mean half glue and half water. Uh, so, um, but here I am putting a coat of Mod Podge on this, and then I'm using one of these napkins that my friend Jackie brought me and um, and just kind of decoupaging that on and then I let that dry and then cut off the edges and uh, and uh, neaten that up and uh, I'm not going to worry with the circle on top that's indented for the clock uh, because I'm going to be hiding that with an embellishment so uh, I didn't worry I thought about filling that in first and then decoupaging over it but um, but I didn't worry about that here because I, I had a plan to hide that anyway. And here I'm just taking a razor blade. And I know I should be using a, a scraper on this. But I didn't know where my scraper was. And so I'm just using this little razor blade. Uh, and then uh, cutting out there for my picture. Now here on the top, I'm just cutting off little pieces of this lavender pick. And I think I bought this at Walmart. But I'm just cutting little pieces off because I don't want all that greenery. And I'm saving that greenery because it makes a good base for other little arrangements. But uh, I'm just using that circle where the clock was as my guide. And I am just gluing these little pieces of lavender all going in the same direction around my uh, little circle. So, like I said, that just made me a good little base to do my circle, and, and I'm building a wreath. And so you just kind of add these where you feel like they need to be. I just glue it and, uh, and until I like the look. And... You don't have to do a whole lot. You really don't have room for a whole lot on this piece. But just enough to give the illusion of a wreath is, is all I'm going for. And obviously you wouldn't have to use lavender. You could use just greenery here if you wanted. But I wanted to add a little bit of purple because of the, um, because of the decoupage. Now this is a little sign I have in my store, and I've sold several of them, but um, haven't sold many lately. And uh, and I decided this was the perfect size for a little stencil that I wanted to use. And the reason I wanted to use that stencil here is because uh, it's it's the the verse beauty from Ashes and. I love that because when we lost mom, uh, there's just so many things that have happened as a result of that, where we've seen God really working. And um, I I just thought of this verse, and I happened to have uh, this stencil, and it just so happened to have fit perfectly in this sign, which was already on that shelf that uh, that I'm going to dedicate to mom. And I thought that worked out really well. Um, and here is that little area I was talking about. Uh, and it's it's behind the desk there. And so the, these couple of little shelves here are going to be hers. I uh, put her little picture in there. But now Walmart, uh, I, I wasn't happy with how they cropped it. So I'm going to have to have that picture redone. But, uh, but 
I thought this was really appropriate. Mom kept this little pen here, and she kept a little note card there where she wrote her hours down and what she owed me for. And uh, the day that we lost her, I, I happened to think of that note, and I thought that has to stay. So I, I decoupaged that onto the shelf and so that I wouldn't lose it. And I thought that was just a really good way to keep her part of my store because she started the store with me and she's just always going to be a part of it. But now I'm going to just kind of slowly show you through the rest of the store. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you and your family. Thank you.